What up, man? You know, this is Killer Priest, Digital Dynasty TV. This is what we do live, ballerstatus.com. What made you want to drop the album the way you did? Just the love of hip hop. And, you know, I promised my fans this for a very long time. You know, there was times when I was debating. That's because there was deals on the table, but I, I wanted to stick to true what I, what I promised my fans. Yeah. As far as the business of it, what made you want to do it independently? As far as um, with the label? Well, as well, it's way more control, definitely way more money, and you get to you get to you get to see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's like going to the place of being hands on, and you never know who controls your 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 destiny at the end of the day. So I wanted to put it in my own hands. No doubt. And and uh, so is this gonna be the route you're gonna go from now on? Or are you still looking for a? Uh, Major. Pretty much, this is the, the route I'm going to go, you know. I mean, I, I enjoy it. It's fun, you know what I mean? I get to see my CDs go out, so it's fun, you know. No doubt. Um, so, do you shed any light on uh, this album that you got coming out with Ghostface? Oh, that's going to be crazy, man. It's very it's spiritual. I mean, it's lyrical also. And um, we've just been working, man. We've been you know, throwing back and forth ideas. And uh, it's going to be something, something dope, man. It's going to be... For hip hop fans, you know, with his storytelling abilities, and you know me coming with my stuff, and we putting it, we gonna put it together. I was gonna say like a, a track with y'all back and forth storytelling would be pretty wild. Yeah, we actually got one, and it was for a, um, a cartoon, Adult Swim or whatever. So we gotta go back and rewind that one. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what was one of the craziest Wu Tang moments when you were on tour that that comes to mind? <laughs> Man, there's so many. It's hard. It's hard just to. If I was to sum up Wu Tang tours, let me see. Uh, craziest moments uh, has to be when Dirty got up, walked off the bus. You know, so I was the ODB. Yeah, we was in the middle of the road somewhere, and he just was like, "Yo, man, I'll I'll, I'll jump off this bus right now." And no one believed him. We was in the middle of nowhere, and he did. You know, what I mean? he just got off. And then you know, we just watched him get smaller and smaller as he walked down. And he ended up being at the at the show when we got there, and this was like in the middle of nowhere, no airports, no nothing. So uh, that, was, that was nuts. Crazy. Yeah. What would Killer Priest like be like if you never got into hip hop? Um, pretty much, I don't know. I, I was heavily into football. Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe uh, maybe boxing or something, man. Knock this money out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no doubt. What was uh, what was your first job like before me? My first job, let me see, was construction. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, uh, that was my first job. Shout out to hiphoplead.com, my man The Advocate. Yo, this is Killer Priest, AKA The Sun Elder. You know what I mean? Coming to you live from the planet of the gods.